Hi, Jenna Knight here. I'm the owner and operator of Zenflower Acupuncture, and I am an acupuncturist here in Port Moody, BC, Canada. Today I'm at work, I'm in the office, and I just thought I'd make a quick video for you guys on the vagus nerve. And today I want to talk about the vagus nerve, because I think when patients get a diagnosis of inflammation of the vagus nerve or dysfunction of the vagus nerve, they really just don't know what to do with that. Uh, and I think it can be a very frustrating um, issue that becomes chronic and maybe it doesn't need to become chronic. Um, just to give you an idea of what the vagus nerve is, because you're probably like, what is that? I'm just going to attach an image here so you can get a visual of it. So I'll just give you an idea of one of my cases that's coming in for vagus nerve inflammation so you can get kind of an idea of what this does in the body. So this patient is a male in his 40s and he's come in to see me because he has been told that he has had his lifetime dose of radiation via imaging, so by MRI, CT, or x-ray because when he has a flare-up, of what they call inflammation of the vagus nerve, he has almost like heart attack-like symptoms where he gets um, radiating pain that goes um, from the chest or the neck down the arm and it creates numbness, pins and needles, tingling, and sometimes comes with gastrointestinal symptoms. And so when he shows up at eMERGE with this crazy pain that's completely uncontrollable um, and not livable, they think he's having a heart attack and so immediately they do imaging um, or they think he's having a stroke and again they do more imaging. And of course nothing shows up in those areas and they've given him the diagnosis of inflammation of the vagus nerve. So for him, he had a 10 year history of having these flare ups where he'd have like this attack um, where the pain was completely uncontrollable, uh, not livable, and he's had to go to eMERGE to get morphine or something to control it so that he can live his life. So he came in to see me and I was like, well, I don't know for sure that I can help you, but I can definitely try. And so we did acupuncture treatments uh, with the combination of E-STEM, which is electrical acupuncture. And we worked at following the line of the vagus nerve to see if we could get that nerve to calm down um, and to promote healing. And we were quite successful. We managed to get his symptoms under control in three visits. So if you've recently been diagnosed with some kind of dysfunction of the vagus nerve or inflammation of the vagus nerve and you want to try some kind of alternative medicine to see if you can get your symptoms more manageable, I would recommend that you definitely give me a call, send me an email, or come in for a treatment and give it a shot just to see if we can make life um, more manageable for you and more comfortable because I think um, it's all about living your healthiest, happiest life. Okay, have a great day world. Take it easy. Until next time.